Hi, Muslims believe Islam is the correct path that leads to eternal salvation. But considering the fact that Allah said he would fill hell with humans in Quran chapter 32 verse 13, what are the chances a Muslim can be saved by following Islam? Well, the Quran claims that most people will not believe. In chapter 12 verse 103 it says, وَمَا أَكْثَرُ النَّاسِ وَلَوْ حَرَصْتَ بِمُؤْمِنِينَ Which means, and most of mankind will not believe, even if you desire it eagerly. Just a few verses later, in verse 106, it says that most of the people who do believe do so while committing idolatry at the same time. وَمَا يُؤْمِنُوا أَكْثَرُهُمْ بِاللَّهِ إِلَّا وَهُمْ مُشْرِكُونَ which means, and most of them believe not in Allah except that they attribute partners unto Him. And according to Islam, shirk or idolatry is the unforgivable sin if you die in that state. See Quran chapter 4 verse 48 and verse 116. Also, we know from the exegesis of the Quran, in this case the tafsir of Ibn Kathir, that this verse refers to Muslims who are committing shirk. So now that we know the Qur'an teaches that most people will not believe, and that most of the Muslims who seem to believe are actually hypocrite idolaters, I would like to give you a probability calculation which gives you an average idea how many people will go to heaven or hell. And these calculations are based on Qur'an chapter 12 verse 103 and verse 106. Because the Qur'an chapter 12 verse 103 says that most people are disbelievers, a minimum probability calculation results in at least 50.01% disbelievers, which results in 49.99% of the believers. But because the Quran also says in chapter 12 verse 106 that most of the believers are actually disbelievers, we therefore divide the number of believers in two, and the majority percentage we then add to the number of disbelievers, which results in 75.01% disbelievers and 24.99% believers. Now, without boring you with too much mathematics, as you can see, I applied the same concept to a maximum probability calculation. And after determining the minimum and maximum calculations, as you can see, I was able to get an average probability percentage. So, as you see, based on Quran chapter 12 verse 103 and verse 106, on average, 87.5% of total disbelievers will go to hell, and on average, 12.49% of total believers will go to heaven. Now, if you're a Muslim, you're probably protesting and claiming these calculations are ridiculous. Well, if you think these are bad, then let me show you Muhammad's calculations. In Sahih al-Bukhari, volume 8, hadith number 6529, we read, Narrated Abu Huraira, the Prophet, meaning Muhammad, said, The first man to be called on the day of resurrection will be Adam, who will be shown his offspring, and it will be said to them, This is your father Adam. Adam will say, responding to the call, Labbaik and Sa'adaik, Fayaqulu akhrij ba'atha jahannama min dhurriyatik. Then Allah will say to Adam, Take out of your offspring the people of hell. فَيَقُولُوا يَا رَبِّي كَمْ أُخْرِجْ Adam will say, O oh Lord, how many should I take out? فَيَقُولُوا أَخْرِجْ مِنْ كُلِّ مِئَةٍ تِسْعَةً وَتِسْعِينَ Allah will say, Take out ninety-nine out of every hundred. They, the Prophet Muhammad's companions, said, O oh Allah's Messenger, if ninety-nine out of every one hundred of us are taken away, what will remain out of us? He said, my followers, in comparison to the other nations, are like a white hair on a black ox. So, whichever percentage you accept, either way, Islam is not the path you want to follow to achieve salvation. As you've just seen, the chances a Muslim can be saved by following Islam are looking very weak indeed. Thank God I left Islam and now follow a much greater and sure spiritual alternative. Thanks for watching and God bless you.